This is a poem entitled Hunger Strike 81. Uh, this is being May 5th. It's the anniversary of Bobby Sands, the first of ten men who died on hunger strike in the Mays prison in Belfast, Northeast Ireland. Uh, without further ado, I will get into the poem and let it speak for itself. Hunger Strike 81 Ten died among others and otherness for all of us to live truly as they did by conquering greatest fear that of mortality. Empire deluded people fallen for own tricks, attempting to impose same old dirty tricks, so clever, outmaneuvering themselves as their house of lies collapses, walls falling in on them, justice triumphant. Hunger strike, tortuous days dying, destroying lies, the enemy, saying heroes are thugs, murderers, criminals, carrot and stick oppression, cocktail party suggestions of ideological believers, having pride shattered by hunger strikers, civil writers putting on bodhi mantle, battling demons of power, wealth, lust, in all fields of experience, till all have fair share of power, wealth, love, Ours to begin with anyway, whether through affirmation or denial of erotic, works either way. Erotica is child's play. Truth of human experience of arrival at innocence will shock, be accused of blasphemy against authority which means you could end up hanging from some old tree, whatever form it might be. Death squads eliminating leaders in community, call them troublemakers. The labelers, character assassinators, trained by empire makers. CIA, SAS, KGB, harass, intimidate, infiltrate, always defeated by those who struggle to die in breath. Where's propaganda victory now? Sands and friends escape them. Those who tried to terrorize them were freedomized instead by those who endured most. Just regular lads took on an empire. Bobby, Frankie, Patsy, Raymond, one by one went through the agony of the heart. Kieran, Joe, Mickey, Tom would not be outdone. Kevin and Martin added to song. It was one. So there it is, Hunger Strike, 
the last resort of people who believe passionately in justice and have nothing left to give but their very own lives. No bomb chuckers, no rifles in their hands. However, they went out in grace and dignity, and it was not what the authorities tried to allow them, even taking food in for them, when they went on hunger strike, the best of food which they never had on prison, in prison, and tried to tantalize them out of their expression. And there was no doing it. Well, that's the story of that, that poem right there to all of those guys. Cut. Thank you. Cut.